Hey YouTube, TechDrink9 here again today, and I'm actually going to be showing you how to set up your um, D-Link DPR1260 Range Booster G-USB Print Server. Alright guys, um, um, so I already set up all the wires and stuff, the only thing you have to do now is go on the computer. So before we go on the computer, I'm just going to show you what I did, so um, if you're better at visuals than actually reading the booklet, um, this will actually really greatly, greatly help you. So, um, first thing I did was plug in the Ethernet to my router, and um, this is where I plugged in. This is where I connected to the internet. So you just plug it into one of the ports. All right, not the main port, but one of the other ports. Just bring it all the way down. It goes all the way down to here, and it goes to the LAN, the blue one, as you can see. All right. And then you plug in the printer, you know, it always comes with a USB one, printer into the router, alright? And the plug goes, they all get plugged in. The printer, make sure your printer's on, and make sure this is plugged in and turned on, alright? Um, this, after um, you're done with the setup on the computer, you don't need the Ethernet cable anymore, so you can make it wireless, so it doesn't have to be by the router anymore. Or and doesn't have this doesn't have to be plugged into the printer, or this has to be plugged into the printer, but a computer doesn't have to be plugged into there. All right. So after you got all that set up, Ethernet and the USB and everything's plugged in. All right. Just want to make sure. All right. After that, um, let's go to my computer. All right, all right guys, I'm back. Just came onto my computer and I'll show you how to do the rest of the steps. <clears throat> all right. So first thing is just search in your uh, search bar on uh, network. It's only take two minutes, so don't even worry about it. It's pretty simple. Alright, scroll all the way down to where it says, um, let's see, uh, where it says printers. You can see the printers right there. You just want to double tap on that. It will open up. Give it a few seconds, um, it's loading. Um, it will take a while because it is on a local network, but just give it a few seconds. Alright, there we go. Just load it up. I'm gonna click on setup right here. And once again, just give it a few seconds. Alright. We're gonna be on here now. Just click on next. Alright, finish loading. Um just want to make sure it's in the right USB port. If it's not, you just want to click refresh or whatever. Um, it's usually always right. Um, just want to tap next. And here, um, you'll get a. And this part, um, you have you actually have to do the this part for every um computer that you want to use wireless um printing for. Unfortunately, that's how it works, and it kind of sucks, but um, that's how it works. So you want to click next. You have to do this for every computer. It only takes about five seconds, so it's not that bad. It's gonna save the file. Very small file. Nothing to worry about. And you'll get this file. Um, you just want to open that up, and um, actually just um, click yes, and that should set up your printer. And it'll ask if you want to do a, what's called a test print, and it should all work. I'm actually not gonna do it with you because a lot of errors come up, and it actually won't work because I already did it once. So I'll get all these errors. So um, that's about it, guys. Um, it's very simple, very easy to use. I've been actually been using this for about a week now. Haven't got uh, any problems at all. Set up on all my three computers and um comes very fast, easy. Um you can do color and all that. Everything works. Um so um thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to, you know, rate, comment or subscribe. Thanks for watching. Appreciate